Hey, hey, okay. Morning, everybody. Hey, I want to show you something. This is going to be a little rough, but hang on. Here we go. Check this out. Look at that. Hang on, let me get you set back down here. Today, we got fire. This is a reading from the Book of Acts. And this is the end of the Easter season, okay? It's Pentecost Sunday. It's, it's we consider it the birth of the church. The birth of Christianity. This is where it all got started. And Jesus literally set it all on fire. <laughs> Not to burn it down, but to get it to spread. Okay? Check this out. This is, from, this is a reading from the book of Acts. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly, from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. And all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Now there's a, there's a couple of accounts of this, the Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit, when Jesus gives his disciples uh, the gift and the power to go out and spread this incredible message, this good news. And, and he uses the image of fire. And in the other accounts, he breathes on them. Now you saw when I was blowing on that fire, you saw what happened to it. It gave air to the fire, it gave life to the fire, and it began to spread. And that's what happened at Pentecost was the disciples were filled with this power of Jesus, this, this Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and it began as a fire on them. And it began as a fire on them and it began to spread. And Jesus breathed into them. It, the, the word inspire is actually to breathe in, to breathe into. And it's the same word like God used when he breathed life into Adam at the beginning, at the creation of people, human beings. God breathed his life into them. Jesus breathed this life into them that they had experienced for three years together with him. And, and now he's saying, I'm giving you this gift. I'm giving you this gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm breathing your, my life into you and I want you to go and I want you to spread. I want you to be fired up because I have come that they would have life and have it to the fullest. And everybody needs to know it. And I want you to go out there and I want you to tell them how good it is. And this was the good news. This was the gospel. This is what Jesus wanted them to do, to go and to spread it. Oh, here comes the puppies. Hi, puppies. <laughs> okay, go. Go nest. Go. <laughs> okay. But check this out. If you're struggling in your faith, if you believed at one time and now maybe you don't, or you even just have some doubts, or you just feel dead or flat in your faith in some way, I can guarantee you, I can I get almost certain that what's happened is that the, the fire has gone out because you've been focusing on your believing and not on your doing. Jesus gave us this gift, this fire, this Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is not a spirit of resting and 
and sitting and thinking about it. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of action. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of fired up and going out and making something happen with this fire. Okay, if I sit here, I'm going to enjoy this fire, you know, but if I don't feed it, it's going to go out. If I don't use it to cook with, it doesn't do any good. If I don't use it to heat, you know, water or even like my fireplace in my house, I use it to heat my house. It just goes out and I have to feed it. And when I feed it, it spreads and it gets bigger. But that's an act of doing. Without the doing, it dies. You see, and your faith is an act of doing. It's not just an act of believing. It's not right belief, it's right action. We have to put this all to work. We've got to go and do something. And so I guarantee that if you feel flat in your faith or if you've stopped believing in God and you stop knowing His goodness in your life, you probably haven't been doing much with your faith. And so you need to get out. You need to serve. You need to find people who are you know, worse off than you. And you need to step in and say, how can I help? And you need to offer yourself. You need to give of yourself. And you become the fuel for the fire and then it spreads, you see. You need to breathe life into other people and spread the fire to them. Do something. This is an action. The Holy Spirit came as a spirit of action to spread, to spread the life and the love of God. Because God does love you. I love you too. And I love fire. (laughs) And I'm happy to have been here with you guys this morning. God bless you all. See you on the next one.